Welcome to Electro Online, and here's the third of the three double angle formulas again. We can very easily derive this formula by going back to the summation formula for a tangent. So here we can write that the tangent of 2a can be written as the tangent of a plus a. And then we remember that the tangent of a plus b is equal to, we have the tangent of a plus the tangent of b divided by 1 minus the tangent of a times the tangent of b. All right, now if we replace all b's by a's, what will we get? So now we can come back over here and then say, well, this is the same as the tangent of a plus a. And then we write the same thing as over there, but oh, I forgot something here. I forgot my a, tangent of a plus tangent of b. So instead of writing tangent of b, we'll write tangent of a, and so this becomes the tangent of a plus the tangent of a divided by 1 minus the tangent of a times the tangent of a. And of course, if you simplify that, we get 2 times the tangent of a in the numerator and 1 minus the tangent squared of a in the denominator, which is exactly the same as what I have over there. So again, I find it a lot easier, instead of memorizing these equations, simply going back to memorizing the double angle, or not the double, but the summation formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent, and then quickly derive the double angle formulas. But if you're one of those people that can easily remember 100 different formulas, go for it. Memorize them all. For me, it's a little bit more difficult, so I tend to like to derive them instead. And that's how we do that.